one. Go. Good afternoon and welcome to a spontaneous episode. We're here in a vineyard in the foothills. Beautiful, this incredibly beautiful day. And uh, got a message um, right when we were done with that uh, the hive tour um, that there was this swarm here in uh, the vineyard. And um, so we came out, check it out. And this is actually, so these bees are very docile because they don't have a home to defend right now. So they really don't want to sting. Um, swarms don't want to sting even when they're out flying. It's, it can be a scary, uh, a scary thing to see all these bees swarming in the air, flying around. Probably most of you have seen that. And then they alight on a branch or uh, something like this. And, uh, and then we can put them in a box and uh, um, literally hive this swarm of bees. But I just before we do that, I just want to talk about swarming. And we talked earlier when we were uh, in the beehive about how it's actually the whole hive that's a single entity. That's the one individual. Each of these bees is not an individual. It's the whole hive that's the individual. And this is how the hive actually reproduces itself. So this is how bees reproduce themselves. And what happens is that the hive gets too full um, and the queen has nowhere else to lay her eggs and so she emits some pheromones. The bees start making queen cells, which are vertically oriented pouches instead of horizontally oriented hexagons. And, um, and then she lays eggs in those queen cells. They start feeding those queens royal jelly as part of their development. And then um, a few days before those queens are to emerge from their metamorphic process, then she takes about two-thirds, the existing queen takes about two-thirds of the bees in the hive with her and goes off to find a new home. Those, the, the queens left in the hive are left to literally fight it out as after they, uh, some, usually one emerges first and then kills the, all the other queens um, in the hive and then becomes the queen of that hive of bees. And that's literally, literally how Apis mellifera, the honeybee, reproduces itself. So at the center of this ball of bees, we've got a queen bee in there. Um, and once we get her in this box, then all the other bees are gonna go in there. And until we get her in this box, then nobody's gonna want, nobody cares about this box. So in this case, I think we'll try first to, uh, to not cut the tree um, and just shake them into the box. I'm just going to take a few frames out in the middle here. And then maybe we'll take all these frames out. Put that like that. And try to shake the plant. Pretty hardy plant. So, ooh. Got the bees in there. I'm pretty sure we got the queen in there because not too many of the bees are going back to the other location. So we'll put these frames back in there. Got a little foundation in this particular box for them to get started with. most of the way. Yeah. These girls are a little confused, but we've got a general preponderance of them going into the, the box over here. Not many of them back there, most of them in the box. And it looks like we've got more coming in the entrance over here. Nobody's coming out of the box, and they'd literally all be coming out of the box if the queen wasn't in there. That's pretty much it. We're gonna leave these. Uh, we're gonna leave this here until tonight, and then we'll come back and get it and put it um, put it in a suitable location over uh, with the other bees that we were just looking at earlier. Um, with our the hives that are those are pretty much the swarm hives that we bring in 
and really try to make sure that they they don't have uh, undesirable characteristics, aren't carrying too much varroa in the hive before we uh, put them with the other bees, put them closer to the other bees. Definitely some bees that are confused, and there's for sure some queen pheromones still on here, but just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and See that already, I'm sure. Can pull this out, they're already starting to work in here. Likely that we'll find the, the queen, but it's possible. Yeah, I don't see her. So I don't want to disturb them too much looking for the queen. So thanks for watching. And that's how you hive a swarm, and really, don't be fearful. Of, uh, of swarms because unless you actually crush a bee while you're hiving a swarm they're not gonna um, they're not gonna sting you they don't have a home to defend so they're not gonna sting you enjoy the rest of this beautiful day <laughs>